On August 1st, Cindy and I are on our way down to the uh, marina at Christina Lake, British Columbia. And uh, what do I see? I see these weird-looking bees hovering above the pavement. And uh, I always go with my camera wherever Cindy and I go. So I start wondering, should I try? Would I be able to capture a bee in flight? So what I did is I got the HDR AX2000 put into smooth, slow record. And, uh, you know, being a camera geek, there I am standing out on the pavement trying to get a bead on these bees that are hovering. But even when they're hovering, they're moving around. It's really bizarre. So I set the camera to manual settings, and it's at f4, 1,000 shutter speed. And I'm trying to zoom in onto it, which finally I was able to do. And these are the videos I got of the bees or or this kind of bee because they have a greenish head on them and the reason I make these videos is because a lot of this stuff really interests me I mean I love nature all different kinds and I was explaining to Cindy that when I was a kid back in the 60s I grew up watching this wonderful program every Sunday night and it was called the wonderful world of Disney and it introduced so many people of my age to nature wildlife and just the beautiful of the wonderful world that is out there so I love to capture that myself in videos and if you've seen that we have slow motion of hummingbirds of uh, butterflies all these different things but anyway so back to the bees after I was filming them from behind with their little legs dangling I thought geez do you think I could walk up in front and get a shot of it from the front looking back and so I tried and guess what this is a shot of the bee. And again, using manual settings, the same settings. It, it's, it's just, I think it's just one of those cool things that you can do and experiment with your camera. And for a final effect, what I did is I also got a shot of them from the side. So if anyone knows what kind of bugs these are, what kind of bee, if they are a bee or what they are, uh, let us know because it's, it's, there it is from the side. It looks like a little torpedo. I mean, it's got a little greenish blue head and you don't see the legs from the front or the side but they are dangling out to the back you can just barely see it behind his wings anyway I thought it was kind of cool and it adds more to the kind of videos that can be created today with the consumer equipment and uh, it's, it's a wonderful world out there I love capturing it and I hope you enjoy watching all these different little glimpses at nature and life that are out there thank you for watching